In this video we'll be exploring sine, cosine and tan of an angle and we'll look at these formulas uh, the sine of an angle equals the opposite over a hypotenuse the cosine of an angle is adjacent over hypotenuse the tan of an angle equals the opposite over adjacent but to do this we're going to take a look at a triangle here that I've drawn and you notice also that there's a circle around it right, what we've done is we've drawn a round circle with a one unit radius and inside the circle we've created an angle uh, this is the x axis and the y axis and starting at the center point of the circle where the axis meet we create a angle off the x axis up at 30 degrees and draw a line right out to the circumference of the circle and that creates one side of our triangle which we call the hypotenuse then we also we from this point we draw we drew a perpendicular line this line then became the opposite of our angle so it's uh, in relation to the angle it's opposite and that side and then this line at the bottom it is adjacent or next to the angle so it's the nearest one to the angle so we know the hypotenuse we label it and then we label this as the opposite and we label this um, as the adjacent it's a 90 degree angle circle so what we're going to do with this we're going to take a look at these formulas But we don't know at the moment the length of this line the adjacent or the opposite but I'm going to use this CAD program and we're going to put those lengths in there we get 0.5 and here we get 0.866 so we've got a calculator here let's clear it off Now, watch this. Let's see if I can get this to fit in. Let's move this out a little bit. Put our calculator in there. Right. We have a 30 degree angle. So I'm going to type in 30 into a calculator. And when I click the sign, I get this value here, 0.5. You'll notice that that is the length of the opposite, 0.5. let's do the same thing for we'll explain this as we go along I put in the angle 30 and I click the cosine button and then I get an, a result in value of 0.866 with a few other numbers here we find that we are getting a length of 0.866 so that tells me based on this unit circle if I have an angle of a triangle and I type it into my calculator and I press the sign it will give me the length of the opposite side of that triangle which is 0.5 I'll explain why in a minute as well if we put cosine into, oh sorry, let's clear it. Let's put the angle 30 in again and cl click cosine. We get the angle or the length 0.88, and that equals the adjacent. Okay. So what about tan? If I put 30 in, click tan. I get this, ang this length 0.77 but where is that in relation to anything? What is this 0.577? So I'm going to show you where that value is in this setup. Well tan means tangent. 
So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to draw a tangent off the circle at this point here. So first of all I'm just going to draw the perpendicular line. So I'm going to draw a tangent. There, this dotted line is now a tangent off the circle from this point here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my line from here down to here and we get this line here. Now I'm going to measure that line and lo and behold we get 0.577 which is this value here. So you say to yourself, well, well what is that? What is this 0.577? So we'll take a look at that as well. If I put in this is quite amazing this actually. This value is the is the what's the word relationship of this value to this value. So let's let's type that in. Let's type that in. Right, we've got a value of 0.5 and we divide it by this 0 0.866. 0 0.866 and what do we get? 0 0.77 which is there. I hope you understand this video so far. It's a bit complex to understand it but once you get it it's rather exciting because not a lot of people know why tan is called tan but tan is called tan because it's a tangent it's tangent of this uh, point of the circle of the unit circle and tan is just taking uh, the this length and divided by this length and we get this value that's what I just did in the calculator. I put in 0.5 and I divided it by 0.866 and we got the value 0.577 which is this. So you can see now by looking at this that we have um, the opposite here which let's look at our little formula up above we have the opposite here which is 0.5 and we have the adjacent which is 0.866 and let's look down on top and if we divide one into the other we get the tan of an angle so we know the angle let's clear this out, we know the angle is 30 we click tan and we get that value point 577 okay so I've kind of repeated myself there but I hope you can see where this is uh, where this has come from um, this really is enough to get you thinking uh, I could go on and explain this a bit further but the video is going to be too long but um, please recommend this uh, to your friends uh, school friends or anyone else that you think might be interested in knowing how this is and why this is Pass the video on, like it, post it on YouTube, or the link on YouTube, or Twitter, or Facebook. And um, please visit our website at uh, teachingbyvideos.com and you'll see some more new videos up there. Uh, we're, we're planning to create a lot of these videos just to explain these concepts. Um, so I'll see you there.